on your board, you're simply gonna unscrew the cap for the air. Really important, the little yellow knob right there is pressed down right now. You wanna make sure before you pump that it pops out. So I'm gonna push down and twist to the left counterclockwise and it's sprung up. There's a spring on that. Make sure, because if you don't do that, you'll pump the board up, it'll pump fine, but when you get done, you're gonna lose all your air when you take your pump off. So just make sure, I've done that a bunch of times. It's not a big deal, but it'll save you a lot of time if the spring is out. So simply once that's out, you're gonna attach the other end of your pump on there and twist clockwise to lock it down. It'll lock down pretty easily. Simply start pumping, put both feet on your pump. It pumps up and down, so it actually pumps really fast. As you get towards the end, pumping it up, the pump will get much more difficult to press. That is normal. Also, your gauge, your PSI gauge, it's not going to register until you get to around 8 PSI. It's going to show zero. It's not broken. Just keep pumping until it does register and head on up to 11, 12 PSI. I'm at 12 now. I'm done. All I'm going to do is simply twist the hose to the left counterclockwise, put the air cap back on with a twist to the right, clockwise twist, it's locked. Now we're ready to paddleboard.